great. So we're going to go ahead and go through 3D maps. 3D maps is something that comes from the Great Institute. It's a series of lunging motions that helps work on mobility through our whole system. We're going to be working on all three planes of motion, which is what we need to be able to move through space. So the first motion is going to be a step forward. We're going to make sure that we can keep that back heel down as we're stepping forward. And then we're going to add the arms to it. So we're going to come up and down, up and down, up and down. Again, we're making sure that we're trying to drive our arms up, hips are coming forward. You can feel a bit of a stretch here, maybe a stretch in that back calf as we're coming up. And you can switch and do both sides. You can feel that stretch. The next motion is going to be a step backwards. So we're going to step back and forward, back and forward. As we go through this, maybe we feel a stretch on that leg that's straight. And then we're also just working on loading that side, back side here. And arms will come down. So those are our first two motions. We have a step forward and then we have a step back. The next one is going to be in the sideways direction. Arms are going to come up straight to the sky, and we're going to step out and come back, step out and come back. Again, we're still making sure that we're keeping that foot planted to work on some ankle mobility, and then we have that hip mobility and spinal mobility as we're coming sideways. The next direction is going to be a crossover. Same thing, keeping that foot nice and planted as we go. As always, if we need to break this down and take the arms out and just do a lunge, we can do that because we're still working on the ankle and hip mobility as we're doing that. So coming through. The last two motions are going to be a bit of a rotation. And so we're going to keep that foot still firmly planted, come across and back, come across and back. Keeping that foot nice and firmly planted is going to work on rotation on this hip here. And then we're going to come across and go around. So this is different than the last one because we're really trying to make sure that we can rotate that pelvis on top of that femur there. So we're rotating. Again, if you need to break it down, take the arms out just to really focus on the quality of motion, you can go ahead and do that. Otherwise, you can add the arms to it to work on some spinal rotation. We think about running, we need that reciprocal motion as we move to make us more efficient as we cover in ground. So those are all six motions that we're going to go through. In a little bit, we're going to show you how to progress that.